Hello, Leo, and welcome to your November 2021 general reading. This will be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or if you have a lot of Leo or a lot of fire in your chart, this may resonate. Also, um, cross watchers, it might resonate more for you than for your Leo. And obviously, guys, it's general, won't resonate for everybody. Even in a resonant reading, not every single message in the reading will resonate. So only take that which does. And for those of you interested in the energies around relationships and love in November, my relationship kit is now available to get more information about that. The link is down below. It's my three most popular relationship readings. Help you navigate the energies of November specific to relationships. And they're not available anywhere else. So um, with that, let's get started. So Leo, what is going on for you throughout the month of November 2021? Okay. You're very close to achieving your goal, a time for healing, a time to give rather than take. And the answers you need are coming. So right off the bat here, Leo, I'm feeling like there's a situation that you've been kind of working towards, waiting for, hoping, and you're ready to put effort into it, but it's almost like you may not find out if the effort that you're putting in or someone else is putting in um, is going to pay off just yet. It's like you're going to get the answers after you take the action. Uh, there may be as this may be a, a time to do a little bit more of your healing work and realize that you might need to put a little bit of a little bit more effort into your own personal healing journey if you've been neglecting that to some degree. But it does look like um, soon there will be some information or some communication that will um, give you more of what you, like the answers you've been waiting for. So let's get some tarot and add to the story here and stay tuned to the end. I will be giving guidance for the month along with the major lesson that you're learning in the month of November, Leo. So let's look at November. What's happening here physically? We have the page of cups, the lovers. So we have apologies here, possibly the temperance card and the queen of cups. Oh, here's that healing, the four of swords, the queen of swords. The Seven of Cups and the Empress. Two of Swords. Six of Swords. Six of Wands. Nine of Pentacles. And spiritually here we have the Moon. The Devil. Six of Swords. And the Star. Bottom of the deck we have the Ace of Wands. Well there's a, um, a lot of energy here for a new start, something that is about to start taking off in your life. But it looks like in between here, Leo, you may, there may be something here that you've not wanted to see or that you felt like that you weren't seeing something. Maybe things have been feeling sort of stuck and sort of stagnant. Maybe things that haven't been really moving very long. Um, and it's brought up some of your fears. It's brought up some fears that you may need to um, that you may have been needing to see in order to heal them. Um, but there could be healing in relationships or a desire to heal and to work on a relationship of some kind with the lovers coming out. Um, but I do feel like there's a, um, I just feel like the tethers of something unhealthy are being let go of here and things are beginning to move, look for, move forward here in a positive direction. And it's almost like because we have really, really beautiful cards by the end of the month with the Queen of Cups, the Empress, the Nine of Pentacles, the Star, I mean, Six of Wands, Six of Swords. But I, I think that there's, gosh, 
gosh, there's a lot of balance being restored. We've got three sixes right next to each other here. Let me actually get another layer and get more to the story. Multiple cards here about healing, though. Healing a situation. And this might be something where you might have to make a move. Um, even though the full healing doesn't quite come just yet. And you might be afraid to make this move. Let me uh, get another layer. So let's see what's going on here physically. Because there definitely could be apologies and healing and communication here. Why is the Page of Cups here? I think there could be initial communication this month, uh, the, um, here early in the month. And with that King of Pentacles on the Lovers, the Temperance gets the Seven of Swords and the Queen of Cups gets the Hermit. I was a seven of swords here with the temperance card, the king of cups. Wow. So we have both the king of pentacles, king of cups, queen of cups, lovers here in the, um, yeah, I think that there's some sort of initial possible communication that could be coming in that could be specifically specific to a love partnership, or it could be something like a job that you love. You're almost there. And you're starting to think like, am I going to get it? Am I going to get it? And then maybe you realize, oh gosh, I don't know if I'm going to get it. But then you realize how much you really want the job. And then you're figuring it out. But it does look like you are having a sense of success here by the end of the month. And you're meant to learn to trust your intuition here. I feel like um, maybe if you've been waiting on a job offer, there's intuitively you know that it's coming or you've chosen what you want. You just hope you're getting, you get the interview and then maybe you have the interview and then you're waiting to hear. Um, but I do think that there's a sense this month of revealing, revealing, um, putting effort into I think you know what you want, Leo, and you don't really want to look at any other options. And again, this could apply in work. This could apply in relationships. Why is the four of, okay, the four of uh, swords gets the six of swords. Queen of swords gets the eight of swords. Seven gets the queen of cups. We have the queen of cups twice. The empress gets the queen of pentacles. Wow, lots of people here. And we have the lovers, and we have the, the you know, the twos. Um, we've got two of swords, two of wands. So there could be choices. You could be making choices here between an existing partnership and one that you maybe, you know, someone that maybe you've always had emotions for or someone that you need to apologize to. But there is, um, with both the Queen of Cups the King of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles. It's like there's four people here. So even if you're not looking at this for love, because this is clearly a general reading, it's not a love reading, but the love theme is coming in for so many people. Um, this is where you could be picking two jobs. Like, do I want to do the job I've been doing, or do I want to do a job that I really, really love? You know, can I do a job that is like, okay... Maybe you felt stuck where you are. You really want to move on. You felt stagnant in your career, stagnant in the relationship, and you're ready for a new direction. Maybe you're ready to start self-employment, but you've been feeling like you, you can't do it because maybe you always feel like you have to have somebody. You're afraid to rely on yourself. Two of Swords here in the Emotions gets the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, there's a new opportunity here. And the Empress is here twice again with that Six of Pentacles. Six of Wands gets the Eight of Pentacles. For many of you, this could be job and maybe even self-employment. Um, starting your own business. But it's like you're ready for a new life. You're ready for something different. 
And with both the Page of Cups and the Page of Pentacles, I mean, again, we've got the King and Queen of Cups and Pentacles. We've got the Pages of Cups and Pentacles. This is a choice between um, what you love versus what you might think you need to do or can you be successful in it. Why is the moon here? But it's being revealed to you. And here's the lovers twice again. Jeez. A lot of um, double cards. Temperance card again with the devil. Six of swords gets the wheel of fortune. And the star gets the five of pentacles. So there is some... Um, why is the five of pentacles here? I think that with whatever's starting, there's a bit of like... You're trying to stay hopeful. You're hoping it's a success, but you don't really know it's going to fully happen yet. It's still a bit of a mystery. And in the process, you know, you could be really healing part of the past. Um, you know, there's something here around. Being aligned with a higher level of fulfillment in your life, Leo. Interesting. There's the four of swords at the bottom of the deck. So definitely a lot of thinking, healing, opportunity for healing. You might be, this might be a very reflective month for you, Leo. So let's actually see what your biggest lesson is. I do feel by the end of the month, though, that there, you're on the right track. Um, I do feel like you want to put a lot of effort into this. And I think that things are going to turn in your favor. But I think this is going to require either communicating in a new way maybe or beginning something new what's the biggest lesson that leo is learning in november allowing things to happen so it says today i will let go let things happen without worrying about the significance of each event i will trust that this will bring about my growth faster than running around with a microscope i will have faith that my lessons will reveal themselves in their own time yeah, that's what I was feeling here by the end of the month is it's like you're going to your aunt, the answers that you want are going to come. But it's not about rushing it or trying to figure it out right now, because over time you will figure it out. You will know things are going to happen. Things that are meant to happen will happen. You're going to learn from it. You're going to grow from it. You're going to discover things about yourself through the process. So what is the best guidance for Leo for November 2021. What is the best guidance for Leo? Gentle moderation. Take your time. Pressure from others or yourself can be released by renegotiating what you are trying to accomplish. So interesting. You're, you're going to have the fire of the Ace of Wands here, but this is about making sure that you just release any pressure, figure out what you're trying to do, Negotiate what you're trying to do and take your time. It's because you're doing things new, but remember, you might be doing them in a new way and you might not be able to do it exactly the way you want to do it. So just allow things to happen and adjust as you go, Leo. So, Leo, I hope that was helpful. Do check out your other placements and the relationship kit if you're interested. And until next time, I send you love.